Welcome to Sundry Hypes, your daily dose of trending topics. Today's topic is something truly fascinating and awe-inspiring. I'm Mark and together with my co-host, we will delve into the world of solar eclipse. Whether you're an avid sky watcher or just curious about the phenomenon, we will cover everything you need to know about solar eclipses. So, without further ado, let's get started. Absolutely. Solar eclipse is not only a beautiful sight to behold but also significant in many ways. In this episode, we will explore what solar eclipses are, when and where they occur, and the safety precautions that must be taken while watching one. So, let's jump right in. All right, so let's start with the basics. What exactly is a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, blocking the rays of the sun from reaching the earth's surface. That sounds amazing. Do you know how often this phenomenon takes place? Well, solar eclipses occur roughly every 18 months, but not all of them are visible from every part of the world. In fact, some can only be seen in specific regions. That's really interesting. Does the length of a solar eclipse vary? Yes, it does. The length of a solar eclipse can vary, depending on the alignment of the sun, moon, and earth. It can last from a few seconds to several minutes. This may sound confusing to some of our listeners. Can you please explain the different types of solar eclipses? Sure. There are three types of solar eclipses, total, partial, and annular. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon completely blocks the sun and the sun's corona becomes visible. A partial solar eclipse happens when the moon only partially covers the sun. An annular solar eclipse takes place when the sun and moon are in alignment, but the moon's apparent diameter is smaller than the sun's, resulting in a ring of fire around the moon. Wow, I had no idea that there were different types of solar eclipses. This information has been very enlightening. Yes, solar eclipses are indeed very fascinating. Moving on to our second aspect, let's talk about when and where solar eclipses occur. Yes, that's an important question. Can you provide us with more information on this topic? Certainly. A solar eclipse takes place when the Sun, Moon and the Earth are all in a straight line. But since the orbit of the Moon is tilted, it doesn't pass between the Sun and the Earth every time it orbits the Earth. This is why we don't get a solar eclipse every month. Ah, that makes sense. I once heard about the Great American Eclipse that occurred a few years ago. Can you tell us more about that one? Yes. The Great American Eclipse was a total solar eclipse that occurred on August 21, 2017. It was visible across the entire continental United States, which was an incredibly rare event. Wow, I remember the buzz around that event. It was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Absolutely. While solar eclipses are definitely something worth seeing, it's important to remember that observing them without adequate protection can be harmful. So. Let's move on to our final aspect and talk about how to watch a solar eclipse safely. Yes, this is crucial information. Can you talk us through some of the precautions we should take while watching a solar eclipse? Of course. One of the safest ways to watch a solar eclipse is by using special solar viewing glasses or filters that can filter out the harmful ultraviolet and infrared rays of the sun. Another option is to use a pinhole camera or a telescope with a solar filter. That's great advice. Can you elaborate on some of the things we should avoid while watching a solar eclipse? Absolutely. You should never look directly at the sun, even during a solar eclipse, as it can cause permanent damage to your eyes. Also, sunglasses, camera filters, and even polarizing filters are not suitable for safe solar viewing. That's good to know. Is there anything else we should keep in mind? It's important to plan ahead and prepare for the event and to be aware of the weather conditions in your area. And if you're in doubt about how to properly view a solar eclipse, reach out to local experts or astronomy clubs for guidance. These are some great tips. Thank you for sharing your expertise with us today on this fascinating topic of solar eclipses. It was my pleasure. And that's it for today's episode of Sundry Hypes. Tune in tomorrow for another episode on a trending topic. That was a great episode. We covered everything from the basics of solar eclipses to how to watch them safely. It's amazing to think about the beauty and significance of this natural phenomenon. It truly is. 
I hope our listeners have learned a lot today about solar eclipses and the importance of taking steps to protect their eyes while observing them. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.